lovely Korea again today. I thought it was gonna be warmer today and I was almost gonna wear a different outfit. <laughs> Believe it or not, I brought some different clothes but I can't wear them because it's so cold every day that I need to wear this big jacket. And now my new toque, so it's gonna be my outfit for the rest of the trip. It's looking like <laughs> today I am bringing you guys to Insadong, which is a little area in Seoul, which is one of my favorite spots here so far. I haven't done that much exploring of Seoul yet, but so far I really, really like this place because you can get traditional Korean tea and snacks, which I really, really like. So I'm gonna show that to you guys today. So we got out of Anguk Station, exit six, and it's just like a couple minute walk to get to the main area here in Insadong. And this place is also known for souvenirs. So if you're trying to get some Korean stuff to bring back to your family and friends, there's lots of little cute souvenirs and stuff and handmade goods. There are also lots of art galleries in this area. You can also rent hanbok, traditional Korean wear um, to wear and walk around the town in. I've never done that. I really want to do that when we move here. Anyone wearing hanbok can enter the palace free of charge. That's neat. the buildings are traditional style. I don't know if they're actually really old or if they've just been made to look old, but it's really nice for photos. So this is the cafe that we've chosen to go to. We went here before two years ago and it was really neat inside, so I want to show you guys this one. So they give you these snacks for free service. It's the same in Japanese, sabisu means like a free, free gift. These ones are like a puffed rice snack and then these ones are more like mochi. We had this one at a different cafe. It's like a deep fried mochi and then they give you some sauces to dip it in. It's so good. I want to get that again and show you guys. Here's some more traditional Korean snacks. Yakwa and korekaki. Sonomama, mm. kaki. Ice. Uh, ice. Frozen persimmon, that's interesting. And now moving on to the teas, there's lots of different kinds of teas. And they're all new to me, so I never know which one to choose. Like, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I don't know what it is in Japanese either. So it's always a surprise. Some of them are more familiar, like yuzu. It's yuja in Korean. Citrus tea. Sweet, sourish, but smart. Ah, kore. Yeah, this one, I've had this one before. It's hard to explain. It's sweet, but also sour at the same time. <laughs> sweet, sour, hot, bitter, and salty, but typically sour. Yeah, it's like a combination of so many different flavors. It's really strange. And then, oh, this one tastes like cinnamon. This one's really interesting. What I think is so cute about this cafe is they let you write on everything so there's messages from all the customers on the table. And it looks like they ran out of wall space so they started using napkins and tying them to the wall here. Last time we came here we didn't have a pen so we didn't write anything. Mm. 
차를 어느 쪽으로 가는 거니까 감사합니다. 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 They smell so fragrant. Smells like cinnamon. I smell lots of cinnamon. Here's the snacks I was mentioning. It looks like it's red bean paste. I think that's what it is. Let's try it and find out. Let's try mine. Oh wow. <laughs> mine was definitely the cinnamony one. Mm, yeah, it tastes like those red cinnamon hearts. I'm pretty sure that was the sweet bean paste inside. I don't know, something about it tasted different. I'm like 95% sure that's what it was, but it was really good. It was really soft. And this this one is like really crispy and it's hollow inside. Ooh. This one looks different than the last one we got. It looks like they put some powdered sugar on it. Spicy? Oh. Mm. So you take your mochi. So this is what the mochi looks like. It's been cooked and puffed. Oh. This is the spicy one. I think they put chili pepper in this one. <laughs> the other one just tastes like sugar and a bit of cinnamon maybe. Mochi actually tastes really good by itself too because they put some powdered sugar on it. The outside of the mochi is nice and crispy, but once you break into the inside, it's quite chewy and like gooey. So the teas are about seven or eight dollars each, and then the mochi was about six fifty. <laughs> area in here has some more expensive things for sale because most of them are handmade stuff. They have a lot of little workshops down in the basement area where you can make your own art or tote bags or jewelry. This workshop here is for making dishes or teacups. We're thinking about making one for my grandma and I asked keyboard son to point out some like traditional Korean designs and he's like, how about these? They look like Rick and Morty. We were gonna do the pottery but apparently after you paint it, you give it to them and then it takes them three weeks to bake it, I guess, and send it to you or maybe you come pick it up, I'm not sure, but we couldn't do it right away, unfortunately. We're at a hunko shop now where he's carving them by hand. I'm trying to pick a design. I'm gonna need one of these when I move here, so. I'm trying to convince him to get this pair set with the cats, but he's like, no, I'd be really embarrassed using it at the bank. <laughs> で、ここに半個。サラ、シャラ。シャラ。シャラ。シャラ。シャラ。シャラ。シャラ。シャラ。シャラ。シャラ。シャラ。シャラ。シャラ。シャラ。シャラ。シャラ。シャラ。シャラ
아드님 그 왼손 앞에 쪽에 왼손 앞에 그쪽에서 옆으로 조금 더 가봐 왼쪽으로 거기 보면은 말이 We've got to wait about 30 minutes for our stamps to be finished So we're just gonna wander around a little bit more We're on the top floor now I've never been up here I like this area We have the toilet cafe Where you can get coffee in a toilet You can also get cheese fried rice in a toilet or tomato fried rice. That just, oh God, that just looks gross. <laughs> and then for some reason they have regular desserts and arted toilets. The chairs all have poop cushions on them. 사랑. 담장. 담장. Love. 담장. So they sell these little cards for 5,000 won and you can write a little message on them and leave them here. <laughs> There's so many. Wow, cute! <laughs> Our stamps are all finished. He gave us these cute little cases for them. Love it. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the day in Insadong with us. We have a business meeting to go to now. So I'm gonna say bye here and I'll see you again tomorrow for another vlog. Bye.